Alrighty. On to the best. The best champ. I don't know. Maybe it's the best champ. I don't know. Maybe it is better than Little Fade. I actually am so salty about that Firelight run still that I am inclined to just go ahead and take that hot take. I think there's enough justification to say it. In the context that you can just ignore Infector, you know, obviously Infector is significantly worse than the Little Fade Pass, but I could probably argue that definitely Corruptor is better, I think, than all three. I think Reapers... Decayers may be worse than all three, but not by much. And I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm not worried at all about this, let's put it that way. Especially if I get Corruptor. You know, what I'm almost worried about is Shard Tail because that... Oh, I don't know. It was like two, the two runs most recently we did are still fresh in my mind with just how little she con contributed to those runs. Okay, um, Root Seeds is probably the best secondary for... <laughs> like, I, I can hit on either anything here. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. Not even mad that I got MB in charge. I'd almost, with Root Seeds, go with Decay or Over Corruptor. Would I, though? Depends on how many Awoken units I guess we got. One, two, they're not with the Steel. Kinda want Quick here, kinda want Sweepers or Animuses. This is by far the best decayer um, that you could hope to find. You know, you can you can go decayer without a banner in this combo and probably be fine because root seeds are just amazing. On two hundred shards, could you? With two wildwood saps, two echo infusions, probably. Huh. This is a tough one. I would almost always default to Corruptor in any other combo. But Awoken's the one that makes me wonder. I don't know. There's Either one of them is so good. I'll win either way. I guess it's like... Which one gives me more of a chance to lose? With the care, I lose if I can't find... Like, big heals, I guess? Even then, I'm like, I don't know. How could I miss there? I don't think I can. I could still just go to the Merchant of Magic. I'm gonna do Decayer here. Okay, Fervor Flame or Sap Tap. Sap Tap. Gnarled Root, Channel Heart, or Notice Stone. None of them do actually anything for me. Literally all three don't. Um... I don't know, Channel Heart. <laughs> I don't know. Notice Stone, maybe? I guess. Still not too worried about it. We could go with the bottom floor setup. You know, I don't know. This is actually such a bad starting set here that maybe we don't. Um, maybe we'll go mid. We can do that that. Basically just always want to play Root Seeds. That should die top. 
As long as I just... Do that. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> this is what I'm afraid of, though, is with uh, decay, or I guess. It's bullshit like this. It could take a broken memories, I guess. Just to get the uh, wildwood sap back. I don't know. The immediate gnarled root punish. Do I take this? I think I could actually ju justify it for now. If I'm gonna lose, I lose at the point where sharpen probably helps me. It's a pretty good map for 200 shards too. We're looking for like double stack. I would consume remove wildwood sap too. Hold <laughs> on. Ironically, not the good thing. Um. Could hold over a zero cost root seeds. What's better here? Animus has a better infusion. It's worse as a unit right now. Hmm. It's probably better into Relentless. Nice thing though, like Shattered Shell, you can put Quick on it and it will, you know, keep me alive if I don't find better heals and stuff. I'll take the Shell. It's an expensive holdover. I think I am going to do this though. It's okay. Double stack there. It can be a consume return target. I really don't have much gold. 120 upgrades hurt. 120 gold upgrades. Um, am I willing to pay a little bit of higher health? I could maybe just set up top as well. This is a pretty easy boss. Yeah, I think I could actually just set up top. We, we killed the enemy boss last round. That boss is already harder than this boss. Horrible opener, kind of, but whatever. Hmm. Guess we just do that, I don't know. Eh, for the boss, we probably want the damage here, actually. No bounty echoes. An infused soul cripple might be okay. Wormkin etchings. I think without a bounty echoes, wormkin etchings is not so good. It could still be good if I get a, a returned soul. <sighs> I need to get rid of ambient charge. Man, we really need ember though, which sucks. We can hit. I think we're gonna dedicate to hit every magic as possible. 
Um, hopefully get minus two upgrades. I will take this. Okay, Glimmer is certainly takeable here. The Notice Stone could get it actually doing stuff. Um, Artifact or Hellvent? Probably Artifact. Potential unit infusion. Not them. I've never, I never, this is one of the worst essences in the game, I think. The Chrysalis one. It's like, yeah, I could put it down, but those five health things are gonna die. Be a lot better if it, like, had this some semblance of the stats that your dude had, but then it would obviously be OP, probably. They need more health. Like, five health is just a joke. Um, don't think so. I was, I was debating if there was weird shenanigans I could do with, like, either of those units just instead of the Shattered Shell, but then I was like, what am I... I'm trying to get way too fancy here. Could spell chain the Broken Memories, or I could just, like, spell chain a Root Seeds. Like, I don't need to... I, I don't think this is a good play without the Bounding Echoes. Or, like... Bog fly in hand or something, or bog, uh, whatever you call it. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I think we do it on our root seeds. I should have checked this first. I think I've been not utilizing Heaven's School a lot lately. Doesn't look like we're hitting much merchant steals. Like one. Dun Echo's really good though here. Do we need an intrinsic? Got one, two, three temples coming up. If it's not like super good, I don't think we need it. Doesn't really seem like it's super good. Just fight. Yeah. I believe this will be a fight where we need to go top. Probably going to have some sweepers and I'm not quick. this turn. I don't think I want the vanilla sap. I think we want the better sap here. Um, I do regret taking Sharpen, I'll be honest. It's look a lot smarter if I'm if I can get a minus two upgrade, I think, but as it stands, not the greatest play that I've ever made. Doth I dare? Okay. Maybe we can wait on this gift. Really hammer in on Telos here. Uh, 
Well, it might be actually smarter to do that at this point. Put that back. That technically could be okay too. And honestly, the tome could be good too. Pretty sure just taking Wildwood. Pretty sure that just solidified the victory. We could give uh, this to our Shattered Shell, I think. Yeah, let's just do that. Do I want Ember or Draw right now? I kind of feel an ember because I'm just not actually playing my cards out. There's a minus two. Might go on a sharpen, I don't know. Do this before I forget. I will put that. I don't know. Soul Cripple might be. Just better. Probably Soul Cripple. Now, with that on a minus two, I could like spell chain it. I don't know, there's a lot of things I could do that with, honestly. Alright, we're getting up there in shards. Definitely get rid of that. Probably get rid of one Echo Infusion. I don't need two of them. Get that down. It's interesting. Could just do that. I don't need the broken memory zip back or anything. Just play it for one whenever it comes up. I, think I actually like that. And let's get that down to a one. It is kind of important. So now, now I've gotten things a lot cheaper. Good thing I got my Ember upgrade. And I could see myself basically drawing pretty much full turns so though. For this boss, we can go top again. I could just go bottom. Eh, I don't got a good hand. Definitely want a draw upgrade next. Everything here is dying. Oh, that's right, the gain damage, okay. Well, that makes sense. You know, the boss does have spikes. That is kind of something I should keep in mind. just given some health to the backliner. That would have probably been smarter.
four spikes. Okay, never mind. I don't think I can get enough on you know who. Definitely do that though. Looks like he's actually just already dead. Just trying to see if I could uh, keep the backliner alive. I didn't need to take that 8, but that was pretty good for a ring 4. Soul Crushing Guilt seems takeable. Preserve Thorns is not so good here. Those stings actually aren't so good. I might actually skip here. By far the best option is not infuse uh, Doneko. It is bullshit, as usual. There's just no way I'm going to take a Pyre Shard, so it's a fucking non-card. We are better off going left here. Just keep getting cost reductions, stuff like that. We have Consume. Could do that on the other Wildwoods. Oh, Bog Slam. Bog Slam or Echo Seedling? Echo Seedling there. Bog slime is better. Too bad we can't get both, huh? Wing steel with the uh, Fell's Remorse seems good. Firebox could be good too. Intrinsic Rail Spike shenanigans, but that's, you know, pretty speculative. I could do that. I don't mind that, actually. That's a lot better than spell chaining it. I don't want it every turn, I just want it to come around every so often. So yeah, it's fine. Uh, another 10 there, is that even good? I guess. Stop giving me shit frost. You know what, I will shit frost that though. It's an okay shit frost. Should I get this down so I can actually play it? Or hold out for a minus two on it or something. I think I actually just want to keep playing root seeds. Well, Unleash probably should have had it too. Yeah, it's all good. Not worried about it. This boss, we're going to have to probably go bottom floor because I don't think we can f actually kill it. Man, these draws though. We're likely to draw to into an infused card here. But yeah, this draw is not good. Can't really go mid either, huh? I'm gonna try to go bottom here. Wow, oh, such bad draws. Even with a sap tap, look at that. Two infused cards through se like fucking seven cards of the deck. That's stupid. Well, we're gonna pay for that entire health for sure. 13, maybe we can go there, I don't know. Motherfucker in back is obviously fucked. We just need to draw as much as possible. So stupid. We should not be taking that much damage here. <clears throat> okay, let's put one in there. We'll die on the way up at least. Should at least get one extra or less hit here. This will be pretty good for the boss, though. This useless fuck.
All right, let's. I'm gonna cut it close. Still have so many fucking stewards in the bank. Okay, we don't want to play that. Do I play that? I mean, it's an extra 44. Yeah, let's just do that. Maybe. Yeah. I think we got this. Just have to hit him with nothing. <laughs> Apparently nothing. Alright. Close one. That fight really wanted me to lose, but here we are refusing to fucking lose. I mean, honestly, the Excellent Incubation, even though it has no obvious utility here, is a zero cost double incant because of Bog Slime. I think I take it. I'm not going to take the Ember Drain card, though. Oh look, Dun Echo doing Dun Echo things. Obviously we won't take that bullshit. Well, it's clear to me we still don't apparently have enough Ember to play everything out, so... Here we go. Okay, I will put that here. Unless... Uh huh. No, do I want to do that? I don't know that I need all that regen when it's not getting me. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Now things just changed. Now things just fucking changed. Okay. So this is, this is why you, you you wait. You wait. Good things come to those who wait. That will be good. Might even be the uh, Helvin target, who knows. Alright, let's go Stewie into Stewie. It is Stealth Arcus who's gonna get shitloads of stealth, but we don't care, I don't think. I think we're gonna apply so much Reap that he will get pretty fucked. We've been having such bad turn ones, I'm inclined to just fucking root seeds this here as intrinsic. Or that. You know what? I'm not fucking opposed to that. Let's do it. Alright. And what else? Just get, uh... Let's get that down or else we remove it. Double stack another one of these? Double stack of that. I like a little more. Um, still want these always at zero. Probably over that, I think. Could also remove this. Okay. Obviously, we won't be going to that steel. We'll go to this helmet. That's the last magic, so we've earned ourselves a draw upgrade. Bottom floor here for show. Could have got that zero costed. Oh well. That was a completely useless bullshit, but whatever. Whatever. I'm bringing that back, fuck it. steel. Why, why, why? 
All right, our first cost reductions of the fight. We are approaching flying kill here. <laughs> flying kill. Fuck yeah. Wow. Not bad. Man, for tournament play, you go into stealth people. You might want to go decay or Etchings? Still don't think I like the etchings. Brings but I like another one of these. And like I said, I think I've earned myself a draw upgrade. I don't think we need Ember at this point. Uh, yeah, Coles is good. So we're often wanting to go bottom. 30, obviously nothing there. I think we have to do this. We're just hurting for shards. We get 10 there. I don't have any good intrinsic. I, I got intrinsic. Uh, so we know we're not getting firebox. We could still get Hell's Banners, I guess. We know we're not getting Forever Flame. Soul Cripple is pretty badass. That's definitely flying kill territory. Um, heals are good though. I can't underestimate like getting a heal. Just dupe that, I think. Let's dupe that. I don't need to take anything else there. Rank 3 of both Decayer and Corruptor is insane. Crazy power spikes. <laughs> that is... a sick joke. It is. It's a sick joke. Why? Why Heaven Seal? Uh, into Penitent as well. I mean, we're definitely going bottom, but... Fuck it. We should be able to do it. We've got so much. We've got so much for him. Oh, well, that guy's gonna do some work on me. That's just how it fucking is gonna have to be. So they're dead. Still dead. There's no possible way I kill this, right? Now what's it take? It takes 30 reap plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. do that, I guess. I could at least soul crush and guilt this guy, though. We'll keep that in mind. How much fucking damage I'm taking from spikes? What the hell? Fucking madman.
Oh wait. Okay. That actually I think pretty much gets me gets me along nicely. Still to 30 hits in six days. That's pretty fucking wild. Don't you dare, living armor. Who do you think you are? Who do you fucking think you are? Do you really think... I'm just gonna sit here... And let you beach me like this. It's not gonna happen, buddy. Keep dreaming. Keep dreaming, buddy. I have 61 reap on you. Fucker. What the fuck? Now, if ever there were a deck that would struggle with living armor, I guess this would be it. Alright, that 400 gold better have been worth that 30 pyre health. I don't know if I'd take another soul cripple when I'm heading to Merchant of Steel here. It's an okay in grass. The awake's alright. I'd have considered spreading spores there. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Loaders, like, okay. I don't know. I don't know if I really like any of these. I guess precious plating. I guess loader's alright. Alright, one more multi-strike and just quick. Ask and ye shall receive. Uh, I guess we don't really have anything to do with our money. So I'll just tell them, like, that. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I am feeling okay about this. A little low on the health for Shattered Shell, but I also don't need the Shattered Shell to win. So that's cool. Thing hitting me is annoying. It won't be hitting me now. That was an incredibly good uh, rail spike.
this motherfucker. He's cleared himself completely. Oh, he does have purifier. That's right. That's... Like, how did you already complete, completely clear yourself of reap? That's right. It is purifier. Probably should have factored that in a little bit more when, uh... Sussing out, uh... If I should go Corruptor vs. Reaper, but eh, it's all good. Um, I don't want to play this yet, because I probably want to try to draw the guilt. on the other floors. Interesting music. By interesting, I mean, well, we won't say anything, will we? That's what my mom always used to say. If you don't have anything nice to say, shut the fuck up. That's what she said. Maybe I have too many of these rail spikes. I don't know. Maybe I just sort of do. Maybe we can get that back. I know I'll lose a lot of it, but... But yeah, we actually came in with one day so I can hold that. Your days, so just give him a little bit of love there. I think we're going to win this one. Oh, don't worry. You're getting the thunder, buddy. I'm going to bring you the fucking thunder. You thought I didn't come to play. You don't know me. Here, you can have one too. Let it not be said that I was not a nice man. <clears throat> or an ice man. Aw, where's my blank pages? I wanted another decayer. For this fight, we could... Yeah, we're just going to set up bottom. What am I saying? There's no way we go top. That would be suicide. That would be a ritual suicide. We kind of need some heals quick. 
there's a heal. Let's get you up there. Let's do that. Let's do that. to you. That is definitely what we know here in the business as a good turn for that. Do you need more health? Maybe you need more health right now, huh? Get this idiot out of here. I didn't like him. Could be more spikes coming up. I won't have the glimmer, the glimmer this time for it. Uh, doing everything we can to get a flying kill here. about the waves here we know for sure that they're dead damn that wasn't the best I really want to get that with the spike yeah, these aren't the best spike draws okay technically is okay I was wondering, like, losing two Echoes, but applying five more Reap. I didn't really do the exact math there, but... Once again, this Root Seed is just un untenable here. I think we'll be getting the Flying Kill here. There we go. Alright. Pretty smooth run. I think I think decayer is preferred with root seeds. Um, I think I think it's really hard to lose with decayer with root seeds. It is with corruptor too, though. I mean, it's like pick your whatever the opposite of poison is. Pick your nectar, I guess. 162. I expected a higher score, to be honest. I guess I took a lot of damage on some of those rings. Hey, I got my Reap Applied record. I'm surprised that that is the case, because I've had infinites where I'm at decay, or so I've, hmm, I must have just been really spamming quite a lot. No, that's, I mean, I crushed it. You know, maybe it's because I had, you know what it is, it's probably because I had, uh, Uh, this early, maybe? Yeah, that is a fun one, though. Shattered Shell is alright. No, 
seeing this, we know that Corruptor would have worked too. I mean, this would have been insane with Corruptor. Probably would have got a flying kill and chased, maybe. Not guaranteed, though. I'd be triple striking into it, though, with quite a lot of damage. I could have built about the same deck, too. The nice thing about Corruptor is, though, like, you really don't need a good deck. You just need the unit, and then you can you can live off a of six, you know, six uh, echo. Say you get six, seven echoes a turn, because um, you know you at a baseline have the four, five if you have mine horde, more if you have the uh, two cost consumable that I can never remember the name of. Um. But yeah, it's like, you know, we were getting up to like over 10 echoes on the floor with this build, which is kind of what you need for Decayer to work. But with Corruptor, you don't need that. Like I can, I could live off six, seven echoes just fine. And I could, you know, dedicate maybe a th few things to like defensive scale. I, I could go harder on the Wildwood Saps, for example, if I'm going Corruptor. And, uh... You know, I, I think I have a little more leeway with my deck, with a Corruptor deck, but I don't know. That was pretty smooth. Anyway, have fun with that one. You get some good decay or practice in, or if you want to take the other route, go ahead and take Corruptor and crush that as well. See if you can probably do better, I'm guessing. You won't get a, I know this, you won't get a flying kill on... Uh, Argus. With Corruptor. But probably Chased, and probably Divinity for sure. Which is worth more, by the way. In at least, not, not in tournament scoring, but it is worth a lot more in the standard scoring. You know, to get a flying kill on Chased is a lot better than Argus. Anyway, though. Then again, you'd, with standard score, you'd be probably hard pressed to win a lot of those fights on bottom floor. Then again, I don't know. Yeah, it's tough to say. But yeah, I've droned on long enough. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Back to Shard Tale next. Until next time, peace. Alright. Part 2. Back to the Shard Tale. Alright, Queen. You really need to... Uh, prove your worth here, because, you know, I've been a believer, but lately, you have provided Hornbreaker Prince levels contributions to run. Still a better ring one, still a better ring one, typically, but just the same, you're not doing anything for me. So, uh, you know, do it. Beat them. A bit of a Friday Night Lights reference for you. Oh, we are okay. Oh man, look at these starters. Look at these starters. Amazing. Most likely uh, Umbra, huh? Okay, the only thing that sucks here is the banner setup. But, uh, map looks... Decent otherwise. Bad hell vent there, I would say. It could be worse though. It's better than a ring three hell vent. But you know, it is opposite a vortex steel. And I, I'd say health and 200 shard runs is like somewhat of a pretty good map event. Oh, this is a. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it's just, I thought it was a 4 Hellbent map, but it's a 3 Hellbent map. That's is, is standard, but... Yeah, this right here is pretty good, but it's slate. So I guess, I don't know, map could be better. The, the thing that does suck is if I don't 50-50 Endless here, then... You know, uh, I gotta wait till 7 to Hellbent. Luckily I do have two Fledgling Imps though, so I can at least self-infuse, but... You like to have two for consistency, as far as endless goes. I guess I could always like, eh, we'll see. 
Either way, I got really strong starters. Easy choice. Eh, this one's not so straightforward, I would say. Um, uh, it's definitely more of a ceiling for improved firebox. However, I would probably just say we take the boon. It's the only one that really does anything for me right now. And honestly, if I do end up with like a bad Umbra unit here, and we run into Sweeper Boss, and I don't get Endless at the Steel, we probably leak. That is the unfortunate thing. And if I leak a, bo a, a boss in particular, I would say, uh, this just really saves my Pyre Health. In general, it will save my Pyre Health. Pretty good 200 shard artifact, might I just throw that out there? Okay. Is this worth it? We don't have an amazing deck for dealing with Mark of Invasion. But it's not horrible. I just need to draw a Imp at the start, really. Which I have a decent chance of. If Even if I don't, I should draw at least something to chump block. We want a top floor setup if we can justify it. Alright, this is fine. I am going to... Um... Debating if I'm going to save that imp or not. I think because I have the extra imps, I'm just going to do this and save that for later. Okay. Can't throw that away, unfortunately, but whatever. Makes sense. We drew pretty well there. Alright. Yeah, I could take a horn break. Um, it's okay. Morsels could open up the situation where I do have to use an Umbra unit. The, the shitty thing here is like, with only one Hellhorn unit, it arguably maybe not even game, being able to pair with a steel. It'll probably pair with a steel eventually. But you know, there are probably some situations where I just get like Alpha Fiend. Well, Alpha Fiend would open up Shadow Eater. Um. Doesn't really synergize with the Imperialist or Imp plan, though. Just trying to think, do I need a pack morsels? It would be good for Shadow Eater. Shadow Eater's good with either Alpha Fiend or sometimes Branded Warrior. I just don't see that being a case here, though. I would need like two space prisms in my opener for that to be viable, I think. Um, so alloy is an option still. I don't know how that floor would look. 
Like we'd want to feed imps and morsels to it. Does that mean there's space for Shardtail Queen on the floor? Probably not. I'd have to take a double pip upgrade, which isn't great. One pip upgrade is pretty standard, though. I mean, at one, I could fit one morsel, one imp. If I self infuse the alloy, I don't know. I don't know if pack morsels even helps that much in that case. Helps one time. Otherwise, it's just shade splitters. I think we just take an immortal trade to try to get through the relentless fights coming up that are arguably decent amount of shards here. We hope for endless. Okay. Dude, I I don't know. I don't know about Morsel Maid. It almost feels like a trap, but I think it can work. I only really... I don't need much pip space. I obviously would have liked to get the... Uh, the fucking whatever you call it. Pack morsels, but we'll take it since there's a multi strike. I mean, that's pretty. pretty automatic. Wing steel seems good here. Wing clippings might be okay. There are a lot of good consumables between these two clans. Arguably the best consumables exist between these two clans. And I already have two that are pretty decent. Wing clippings, I think. The ceiling there is just out of this world. And it already gives me, pro arguably, I think it gives me more value than anything, even currently. Reroll for endless or quick, find shitstone. Hmm, quick, okay. I mean, if you want to give me that, I'll take it. Nice thing about this is we don't have to hit endless on fledgling imp that much here because. As long as I can hopefully just get a... Now I hope for pack morsels. Easy boss, easy troop. Potentially easy trial. Well, I might as well not Ember Drain. I should probably still frontline with the Queen, huh? Like that makes sense, right? Hey, Rubber Marcel, what are you doing? Thought I was the Rubber Marcel Master. What, what gives? Now you give me one. I don't know that this actually is good here. Seven by two, but it's fading. I think we just do this. All right. 
couldn't do the. I probably could have really done the math there and seen if Tyrus and Klein wins, but I just didn't have the patience. This is an interesting one. It's not going to be Hidden Passage. But, uh, between Ritual and Welder, I'm not sure. You know, I technically have defense on Morsel Maid, but I don't really have defense on Queen. I mean, I, I, I do have these Prismal Dusts. I technically have Immortal Trade. I don't know that I'll be using that in this fight. I have Tiresome Climb. I have the occasional Chump Block. I have Horn Break. Morsel made, I'm just going to bank on eventually getting a lifesteal morsel here and there, or damage shield here and there, health, like eventually it just gets something. I think a ritual's better for wave clear and stuff, that's what we're worried about in the immediate. But this is interesting, these are both good, and Timber Assault is the morsel generator though, like... I don't know. We don't necessarily have to make use of the morsels here. At the end of the day, we just care that we have a multi-striking quick unit that has enough survivability to survive a turn or two. Um, up top, well, a turn at 20 shards, 200, 200 shards even. Um, I don't really need extra space unless we plan on going mid, which maybe we do eventually. I don't know. I'd rather just take another Prismal Dust. I don't know though, two of them is pretty good. This technically has some downsides with wing clippings though. Hmm. Would I ever need to set up mid? I just don't think I would. And Tumbra Assault just isn't a Morsel Generating card. Oh my gosh, Overgorger with Morsel Maid. Not gonna lie, the Allied Construct is actually maybe better. Considering I'm not really gonna feed it that much, but at the same time, if I'm not gonna really feed it much, then it wouldn't be better. Yeah, I think this is pretty automatic, Overgorger. Now I don't even need to really... I probably should search for Holdover, honestly. Double Gorge Artifact would be good. Yeah, let's take a search for hold over here. What do we got here? Minus two. That's a pretty easy one. Definitely don't need to do that. Is this run the most high roll? Well, sure, tell. You, you provided good value for two rings, but I don't think we're going to be able to justify here. Your, uh... I don't know, do I have enough rage for Deranged Brute to be needed here? What am I saying? Of course. Of course I do. Those, however, we're not taking. Never lucky. Clearly just never lucky. I don't think we're gonna keep a mortal trade past this. And let's put in Overgorger to our quick multi striking morsel made. And. Do we want to? Do we want to keep? I'm pretty sure it might be just hell venting. I don't know. Multi strike, deranged brute, endless fledgling. It. Maybe I'm not hell venting. If I'm not, I should keep the money, and not reroll. I think. I think we'll open ourselves up. By the way, we might get card dress that push us a direction. Right now, it doesn't look like hell vent though. Uh, no deranged brute for this fight. I don't need it. Let's 
So it's like I need space for morsels. We'll win this fight regardless of uh, a deranged brute or not. Here, let's bring you up. Kill that. She might just die. So there's that. Alright, well, the range brute will eventually come in here then. Wow. 40 to 27, just like that, huh? Sell some gorges here. Gorgeous George. Oh, look at that. Remember when I said these uh, clans have the best consumables? I wouldn't lie to you now, would I? Man, I could see Umbra Stoner last stand here. I, I don't think we obviously have the setup for Furnace Tap, but, uh. Man, I don't know which is better, last stand or Umbra Stone. It's probably Umbra Stone. It's not as high rolly, but it does mean my ridiculous Morsel Maid doesn't need. Like, it, it still only has two strikes at the end of the day. Um, you know, with the amount of damage it hopefully ends up getting from Overgorger, which probably won't be much in this run, honestly, if I don't find a gem trove or a grovel or a wretch. Still be enough, it'll still be a, an amount though, but really the rage from Brute is gonna be what kicks this over the edge. And, you know, I'd say last stand is maybe win more, whereas Umbra Stone allows me to clear the waves. So, Umbra Stone. This is interesting. I could go Steelworker or Morsel Masters. Morsel Master into Brute does give me double gorges. However, defensively, it could be better just to have the Steelworker. Between the three Prismal... I have enough defense, I think. Um, I'm also quick in trampling. I think just double gorging helps me actually gorge enough in my bad gorge deck. And I think we'll just do draw. We want to draw these Shade Splitters as much as possible. I could see Ember as well, but... You know, we can get Ember through other means. We can't really get draw through other means. Let's double, do a Hellvent check. Ritual is an okay Hellvent. Um, Tiresome Climate is an okay Hellvent. I'd rather get health on Deranged Brute, I think. I also don't necessarily want to force the steel. This is a better steel to hit, I think. So poor shard tail is just not going to really do much on a run again. Um, yeah, that's how it goes, right? If something stupidly OP comes along, you use it. So I still, you know, shard tail still was really good. The first two rings, and she was moderately okay for ring three. She's not really a ring three tramp in my experience, so with the Imperialist start. You're taking her to get a really strong ring one two to facilitate endless imps, to facilitate just wave clear in general. Weird champ. It's a weird champ. Um 
Yeah, let's just go to the right. Not gonna take that. That is by far not what I want. A minus two there is good. Even though it's already piercing, I think that's about as good as a use of shards as possible. Alright, can I afford both? I can. Beautiful. So we'll eventually self-infuse Fledgling. I could actually do that now, but I would much rather get the Morsel Master into the Brute. So we'll do that. Just really get the Overgorger as many Gorges as possible. So we have Imps for days. We don't need to keep Stewards. I'll have plenty of ways to get Shards. Queen still might clear a few waves here and there if I go full Imperialist. I would have gone in Parade though there. It's a lot of damage, but I think we're fine to take this. I want the money. Technically... Technically, man, that is fucked up. Um, well, maybe. I'm trying to think, is there, how do I, okay, that's how I survived that. Let's put you here. Definitely want to kill that. I think we want to do this instead of gorging. by two. If I move this up, it'll still be dazed. So we'll do that. And that, I think. Our first gorge of the match here. Alright, I'm quick. Well, that was dumb. That was dumb. At least it dies now, but I miss out on a gorge as a result. Let's gorge. We're gonna win here anyway. Endless Imp actually might not be that good in this build. I'm doing too much damage. It's kind of a first world problem here. Uh, I do kind of need to get to that back line there. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I have the one horn break. Uh, perhaps we should just do this. And I'm doing a ton of damage. quite a lot of stats. Apparently no rubber morsel though. Got it there. Alright. Impressive might be okay. I mean... Yeah, I think so. We do want to play out this dude. It's not going to be a problem for Divinity, but it'll be a problem up until then. Cannibalize not bad here. This is going to be the best Cannibalize I think I've ever had in the DLC. That's my prediction. I don't think we need to go... See, this is nice that we can go here. Uh, this could actually be good. But Hell's Manners. Yeah, that's just pretty automatic. Um, if 
Should be fine. This troop is pretty easy. Significantly harder in 200 shards, but not too worried about it. Should we go for the greed here? I think so. Oh, you know what? I can't even. I can't even. It's. This. Oh, wait, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go for the greed. Definitely remembered that I had health banners. Uh, it's just something I'm really good at remembering. Well, should have definitely put that behind, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Could try for a rubber morsel here. I think I'd rather just uh, get my guaranteed thing here. As long as I can get Umber Stone, which I'm guaranteed to get, we'll be able to deal with that just fine. All right, and again, I totally remembered that I had Hell's Banners. Definitely factored into the decisions I made on this fight. And, uh, I totally remember which boss I'm fighting. Stealth boss, sweeper boss. I'm pretty sure it's sweeper boss. I find usually when I didn't make note of what the boss was, it's sweeper boss. We'll find out if that's true. Shade Splitters if it's a uh, Sweeper Boss. I just have a floor that probably beats, or uh, sorry, Stealth Boss. Oh no, it is Multi-Striking Boss. Okay, well, maybe it's not so... I mean, I'm gonna have a lot of damage shield. I do love that I gain Ember from these. Wow, that's a pretty good turn. Definitely getting our Gorges this time, huh? I would probably rather gorge more if I can, right, than just beat this guy, because I'm totally going to beat him. Yeah. We are fine here. Get as many gorges as possible. Check. Yeah. Oh, I actually lost him. Amazing. In a box, probably not. I could make it work, but it's just not that necessary. I don't think I'll take another Umber Stone. I mean, it is important to find it, but we can just simply, like, not take cards we don't need to take. Now, Gem Trove, I probably will take. I don't think I'll take the Steel. I'll just get this Gem Trove playable. What is our attack up to now? 63? Still seems low. Um, 30 power... there? 10 in pierce there? We may not even have to self-infuse anything. I mean, I, well, I'm gonna do it on the fledgling up. Beautiful. Actually, like that. <laughs> uh, maybe I hold out. I 
I could permafrost that. It's an okay permafrost. It's still a shit frost, though, at the end of the day. Very overrated upgrade at IMO. We can take care of that. Via. Via that. You can go there and just... Die. <laughs> eh, it's Hornbreaker Prince 2.0, apparently. I mean, since you're dying... Might as well do something while you're doing nothing, right? Alright, 113 by 2 kills that, I'm quite certain. Either way, though, if this spell is going to be up here, we might as well, you know, blast it with everything we got. Oh, wait. I guess you were up at the top, that's right. Hell's Banner's time, and that. Not too shabby. Oops, almost fucked that up. Almost fucked that up. This run will take quite a long time. Should probably try to just burn out those prismal dusts. Like, do I really need them? Oh no! You bloody bastard. Get off the floor. Yeah, we want to burn these out so I can find Hornbreak and Important, or Implosion, or whatever. What the fuck is that card? Uh, Shittiest Imp card, that's what it's called. Damn it. Double Preserve. Okay, Wing Clippings, you're failing me. Uh, oh, and I have three damn cards that I can find for this. And this bastard had the audacity to stick around for three whole turns without being killed. Impressive, the most ironically named card in the game. There are people that think this card is good, and there are people that are correct. This is the two pipe types of people in this world. Ooh, first making. Somehow our first Morsel Miner of the fight, I think, or the, of the game, I think. Preserved, uh, preserved thorns here, apparently. That is some energy. Tell you what, no, we should gorge more, I was like, you know what, we don't even need that. Let's just do this. Get some more gorges. And by more, I mean a grand total of two. Uh, I didn't even need my second strike. Ooh, now Shroud Spike is no good here, unfortunately, but uh. I mean, it is a transcendent. Totally don't need it on this run, but uh. You think I'm not gonna take it? You silly. You silly. Just want to draw more. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see. Go to that steel to try to get endless on it. Hmm. 
We don't have to do this infusion if I don't get endless. I could value stone one of these. I think it wouldn't be horrible considering I am going to be taking hits top or wherever I go. So now I have 200 shards and I don't have to force anything. I would say that's a good thing. It will get rid of a few of these. Fifteen, finally starting to do some good damage. I might actually help in this. I'm trying to think, of what what kills me? Like just getting killed kills me. But that helps me not get killed. Let's do that. I know it's very. Uh, riveting commentary here, but it does turn out that getting killed does kill me. I don't know. I think that we're going to be fine. That'll take care of that. See him? Imperialist now starting to, you know, bring it back. Starting to bring it back. One, two, yeah, this works. Just enough ember. I actually think maybe I just put this down here, huh? Like, I want it, but I, I want to be able to feed my guy, so... Alright, we're going to put you down there to kill that. So maybe we want to keep her alive. Like, she's actually kind of important to this run. And if you think this turn was finished, you were wrong. Hmm. How about we do this? Not a single purifier has lived because of uh, Miss uh, Miss Red here, the Red Princess, the Red Queen, if you will. Not a lot of rage, but not a lot needed. She has all the rage. She is all the rage. Alright, you can have some rage. 420. The exact calculations have been met. So minor number two on the run. Maybe we do this now. Yeah, just enough for it all, right? Haha. -ha. Okay. Next turn, we're gonna double tiresome climb this motherfucker. And it's gonna be good. I feel like we do owe it to, to uh, Queen's here to, you know, let her do shine a little bit. Not bad 
all things considered, pretty. I think that's what I like about Queen. She's not really important to this run yet. She ended up being pretty good here. Killed every single purifier. Uh, and, you know, if it were needed, which it's not, but if it were needed, she took the boss down by about half health. Yeah, let's... Yeah, I guess I could do that, but again... Might as well just keep foraging. Gotta be gorgeous George here. What if I misclicked there? I think I still win, actually. Uh, no, that's not true. Yeah, it might be. I don't know. You never know. No one can know. The math can't be done. Uh, important work. Yeah, it's probably okay, huh? It's not as good as he'd think in this deck, but I'll still take it on principle. Crucible extension oddly might be okay. So would prism retrieval. Maybe I like a Prism Retrieval more. I can remove all the non-needed imps, I think. Yeah, I think I like that more. So if we do need to get to our imps, either way, we're going to take this and it's going to be good. We'll see. Oh, fossilized fangs. Yeah, I think we'll be taking that. Uh, endless. Quick. Just give you health. And I'd rather have him have health than quick. Big needed health there. So we'll just maybe... I'll probably take fangs. Let's get rid of all... One, two, three, four. I guess I could keep transcendent, technically. But I don't think so. We're just going to have Prism Retrieval for the... Uh... Now it's guaranteed to hit. Damn, I'm 10 gold short. Well, it is what it is. I think I gorged just enough. 10 damn gold short, you bastard. Gotta ruin my fun, do ya? Well, let's just make another removal then. Uh, we probably really don't need important work. It's just gonna redraw the imp, which is fine and dandy. Eh, no, let's just get Chain of Gems, just for the, the first unit getting damage shield. Like, I, I feel like important work is pretty okay in the deck. So... We whiffed on the Merchant of Steel, but that's fine. At this point... Gem Trove, probably? It'll make the run more annoying, but I think it is probably the best card. The best one that doesn't cost me shards. Alright, we can deal with some Ember. Well... I was going to say we can deal with some Ember Drain. I'm actually not entirely sure that that's true. Because the dude costs quite a lot. Okay. 
Okay. Awkward how we have to do this, but... Yeah, you know what? We can do that. We will do this. You know, Queen, I think I'm going to let you just get out of your misery here. Damage shield's gonna prevent me a flying kill, is it? Why are you at the bottom? Could have brought it back up, but it's gonna come back up and go away anyway. Damn it, space prison. Or prison retrieval, whatever you're called. Um. Hmm. <sighs> it's gonna give me the best shot for a flying kill. That gives me a literal 200 extra damage. It'll give me 100 extra damage on this hit. I think we've gorged enough, right? 322 natural attack. I think we try to go for the flying kill here. Either way, this is probably just a better play. Six six six. Look at that. Oh, that's interesting. I have important work, impressive, and horn break potentially coming up. I'd have to literally bottom deck all three of them for this to be a bad play. So let's do that. I almost fucking did. <laughs> fucking piece of shits. And technically, it still sucks because, like, I fucking just redraw that. Whatever, though. Alright, we can go for the flying kill here. I don't think I'm going to get it. In fact, I know that I'm not going to get it. Whatever. We tried our best. That's all you can do. Why didn't I just cannibalize that? So I I do apologize, Strange Brute. Um, you don't actually. You know what? I, I was gonna sacrifice him, but that's silly. I get the same amount of morsels anyway by doing this. Alright. 
lot of APM to get this guy to the amount of damage that I would say a typical... Like, if we would have gone harder on Rage, I think we'd end up with more damage than just feeding this fuck, but whatever. Should find a sack here, hopefully. Alright, we didn't super find the one we want, but that's fine. Actually, we definitely we probably did find the one we want, in all honesty. That's pretty good. This is the world's worst wing clippings, by the way. I could have just had extra draw. Which would have been great in this deck. Are you silly? Of course I'll take that. Let's get a double... You can't... Oh, you know what? You know what I think about blank, blank pages? I don't think you can get the champ that you have, though, right? I don't think I've ever seen that. If I have, I've forgotten it. Because that'd be cool if I could get, like, an imp parade. And, you know, imperialist floor. Alright, let's give you the damage shield for now, just in case. Good. Great. And I'm sorry, Shardtail Queen, but... I need some morsels. So all of the weird things we have in our deck are probably going to start to make sense on this fight. Oh, you can just die. Still, apparently. Sounds weird, but it honestly isn't that much attack. So one, two, three, same situation. I have to bottom deck literally all three of those if this for this to not work. Oh, actually, it just dies. That's right. This thing's super easy to play then. Chain of Gems might actively work against me in some of these turns. Hmm. We have 15 armor, so that's fine. Alright, 0 for 2, blank pages, 0 for 2. O for 3, blank pages, 0 for 3. I'd wanted to use this on the enemy. However, it kind of works against me to do that now. Oh, for a million, dude. Oh, oh for a million blank pages. That is unacceptable. and they gain armor, so this is fine. 
the hell am I not getting a flying kill yet? The hell? I mean, this should definitely be enough. Oh my gosh, blank pages. What are you doing to me? I can't even target it. It's fine. I'll just target that one. Been a lot less damage than I thought it would. Fucking, uh. Strange Brute self infused Imp. Like, not really doing that much damage. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Double Soul Guard. I mean, it's useless. It was useless. This uh, Blank Pages did absolutely nothing for me, but that's fine. It tried. It tried its best. And there you have it. There's the uh, the ending deck. Double Soul Guard. Should that be my my clickbait th thumbnail? Um. Can I capture the clan combo as well? Nah, it's... Who knows? Who knows? I'll tag him and bag him. Uh, Shard Tail Queen. I think at least, compared to the other runs, she at least, I would say, carried quite a good load the first two rings and countered the shit out of the patient, so you know what? You're borderline redeemed in my eyes. Just borderline, just borderline. Mevo, you gotta step up your Hellhorn game. <laughs> Mevo is uh, a... well, was a storybook ball player, probably exited with the NFT nonsense. Honestly, I, I exited that game before the whole NFT thing. I I could actually not care that much about whether they want to run a weird NFT thing or not. I just thought the game simply got into a shitty state, and you could tell it was like going in a weird direction. Um, they just wanted to really dumb the game down, and they're so shit at balancing it. That's kind of why I stopped playing it. Coupled with just a horrible turn, it like. The Story Big Brawl tournaments, I never ended up uploading the uh, the videos. They're they're on my laptop somewhere. I kept them, but it was just like I was just like irate the whole time because it's like it's pretty clear either people are cheating, because uh, like my for instance my first game it had to restart three different times because people supposedly couldn't connect to the game. In my head, I'm like, I'm pretty sure they just saw the champs that they didn't want, and then they fucking, like, pulled the plug or some shit. Because, like, it was pretty ironic that, like, of course, like, the games that don't, um, you know, didn't. Like, I had great champs in the ones that we had, and, and good starts in the ones that we had to restart. And then, of course, in the ones that I actually had to play through, I'm stuck with champs, like, fucking Mrs. Claus and shit. It was, like, horrible. And then everybody else has, like, Waddle and shit, but... I'm sure that made sense to about two people that still remember Storybook for All. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is just one of those higher... You got, you got two really good rare units, Strange Brute, Morsel Made, very high rolly. You get the Endless Fledgling Imp, not that we really needed it, but... And then some Morsel Gen, some just generally good cards such as Hornbreak, Tiresome Climb. We didn't really use Tiresome Climb that much. Umbra Stone was pretty key to this run. Without Umber Stone, we'd probably need to switch up the game plan a bit. But yeah, not much else to it. That was a fun one. You can definitely give that one a shot. On to my new favorite champ, Wildenton, next.
Um, but that'll probably be the end of this episode because I'm just sticking them to two games at a time. So as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.